My name is Peter Ivanek. Uh, I'm a member of a Swedish party called the Active Demokrati, which means active democracy. Uh, I am just a citizen. Just a citizen. I'm a regular private citizen. Uh, however, I have had a great um, political interest uh, for many years. Um, although I probably wasn't aware of it, uh, meaning uh, being interested in questions, however, not uh, using that for active uh, political uh, activism or membership. A couple of years ago, I um, I came to the conclusion that I've, I've learned uh, what seemed to me uh, enough to get a broad overview how things work politically, uh, locally and globally. Uh, and I came to the conclusion that I had a choice. And the choice was uh, either to ignore what I knew, because obviously I was concerned about what I had learned, uh, or I could uh, engage actively in politics. Uh, and I chose to engage actively. Uh, I went to a lot of the traditional parties, which, with which I sympathized somewhat, but not on everything. Uh, and I talked to them, and they gave questions, they answered some of the questions I asked, and didn't have a well, and some of the answers weren't as good as I had hoped for. Uh, at the time, I was also reading a book uh, called Knapp Trycka Kompaniet, uh, which, which is a, uh, the title is a term which could be used for the Swedish parliament, uh, meaning that the people are, that are there are only there to push buttons. They don't have any real political influence. Uh, in the book, it's described that uh, political power, the real political power, is at the top in every party, uh, in this case, uh, the moderates of Sweden. Uh, but it's not excluding you know, only them. This includes, this behavior includes many parties in Sweden. Where if you want a political uh, position, like being a, a minister or a member of some work committee or, some, or similar, you have to follow the party line. Uh, if you don't, you're not, uh, if you criticize the party line, you're uh, viewed upon as a uh, as, as, as viewed upon as dissent and uh, you are deemed not to be trustworthy, uh, meaning that you won't be told, you won't do what you're told, you're not entitled to a critical opinion. Uh, and this obviously was very, very concerning to me. Uh, I didn't know, I've always thought of Sweden as a very democratic country, uh, in my views. But this opened my eyes to the possibility that that might not be the case. And uh, while reading this book, I, I passed active democracy, I don't know, just a square in the streets that were informing about the party. And uh, I went up to them and asked them who they are, and, and they told me. And um, I uh, asked them about uh, their party program, their ideology, and they said, we have none. And obviously I was surprised by this. A political party that doesn't have an ideology or a party program, or at least in the traditional sense, to me that was very surprising. And I asked, well, what kind of party is that? And <clears throat> the answer was, well, we think that uh, people should make up their own minds and, and uh, vote as they want, uh, instead of being told by the party leadership or by a party that they vote for or are members of. Uh, and to me, this was astonishing. Voting uh, as I like and make up my own mind, uh, to me, that opened up so many possibilities that I only needed a short time to think about this before deciding to become a member of uh, active democracy. Uh, so that's who I am. I, I am my official uh, role in the party right now is, is being a member supporter, uh, which means that whenever somebody contacts the party online, offline, via phone, etc., the contacts go to me and I reply whatever questions might uh, come up. Uh, Active Democracy is a direct democratic party that's, it's not originally their idea. 
idea, I think. I'm not sure of this, but I don't think so. Uh, but we're using a model called liquid democracy. And liquid democracy is uh, most easily described as a synthesis between uh, representative democracy and direct democracy. And the reason for that is um, the, the most common criticism for pure uh, direct democracy is that uh, considering how many bills and topics every citizen would have to uh, get information about and, and get knowledgeable about to make an informed decision, it would just require too much time of, of people's lives. Uh, so that's the most common uh, criticism against direct democracy, the pure version. So we, liquid democracy introduces a, a system where uh, we use something we call delegates, which, which could be called politicians or vote uh, trustees or, or similar. We call them delegates, uh, which means that in a, in a topic or a bill or a question or an issue where you don't have time to get informed or maybe doesn't interest you uh, and you don't have knowledge enough to, to make an informed decision about it, you can delegate your vote in that specific topic to uh, a political party, uh, uh, an organization such as uh, Greenpeace uh, or similar, or to uh, a knowledgeable uh, individual. Maybe you, you have a neighbor that's a professor in nuclear physics, for example, and it's a, the, the bill or the topic is uh, should we build more nuclear uh, plants? Uh, then you could delegate your vote to that individual. Uh, after they have registered as a delegate in, in the So that's very roughly, that is uh, liquid democracy. Also, uh, also I am the, a graphic designer by trade. Uh, I run my own company uh, and I was part of, of developing the new design uh, for the website of the party. Uh, and I take part in, in informing people in the streets and of Gothenburg, uh, which, which probably is my favorite part, because I like people, <laughs> and, and I like talking to people, and I like talking to, to people about politics and uh, how they could get involved in politics and, and through our party uh, and, and uh, make a difference, uh, a real difference.